Hey guys, Rhett Weaver here from Inchaland, Utah. One of the biggest weeks of this year is this week. Tomorrow, we have the CPI report. Thursday, we got the producer price index. Friday, we're going to get three of the biggest banks in the nation to tell us their quarterly earnings. So some really big data coming out this week. Uh, you know, it could be a little bit of a roller coaster. We keep reiterating over and over again that May 10th is the day for interest rates, that the inflation is really going to come down. But I want to explain these reports this week so you guys have a really good idea of what's happening. Report number one, which is tomorrow, which is the CPI report. Inflation is expected to drop from 6% down to 5.2%. In a normal world, that's huge. Means inflation's coming down, mean rates are just going to get a lot lower tomorrow. One problem, the government goes off of the core index inside of that. And so the core, which strips out food and energy prices in this inflation side of stuff, is expected to go up one-tenth of a percent. So that is the area where the government feels like that they can control uh, really what's going on inside of that monetary pricing, whereas the other part of that CPI report, they can't. And so the, the, the federal government is going to look at the core more than anything. If that goes up a tenth of a percent, this is where this is going to be a roller coaster. Inflation came down, but the core went up. And so this is why the month of April, we could see rates go up and down all month. Um, and it's because of reports like this. Thursday, another really big day. We get the pr producer price index. What that means is the cost of goods that we're looking to buy uh, for consumption. So things that are domestic that are coming in, are those getting a little bit cheaper or are they staying a little bit more expensive? Everybody think that, thinks that Thursday it's going to be a great report for the PPI report, that it should be bond friendly or we should see interest rates come down a little bit. And then Friday, Friday is going to be a very interesting day. We have three of the biggest banks that are going to report their Q1 earnings calls. And so on Friday, we're going to see what's really happening inside of the banking system. And again, this could all have a big effect on what's going to happen with rates not only rates, but you know the stock market and everything else. And so really big week ahead of us. We are still talking about May 10th where interest rates are supposed to come down, but this week is gonna speak about the federal government. We're gonna get uh, really some notes uh, from last Fed meeting tomorrow as well. They're gonna go in and dissect those a little bit. Uh, so tomorrow could be an up and down day as all this stuff kind of gets uh, released. Uh, one other thing that I want to chat about is this week is going to lead to the next Fed meeting, which is May 3rd. So May, May 3rd is the next Fed rate hike announcement. This week is going to have a huge impact on what they're going to do before the May 10th CPI report that's going to come down. So again, we've got one more month of a pretty big roller coaster. From there, everything should settle down and we're going to see things kind of move forward. I do want to kind of look at rates as of the last couple of days. We are holding pretty strong right now, which is exciting news. Um, you know, if this is your first time, red means rates are getting lower. Green means it's getting better. As of today, we closed out the market up just a little bit. Obviously, we're getting preparation for tomorrow, so there's not a whole lot of news going on today. Uh, but if you can kind of see this, we've been in a trending position of rates getting a little bit lower. We're getting better for the consumer out there. With this new weather, with some of these reports this week, uh, we could see a lot of movement in the market and we could see a lot of good things happening. Hopefully this makes a lot of sense. Three big reports this week, three totally different days, three totally different days of rates that could possibly be happening. So really make sure you're getting updated by your loan officers. Really make sure you understand what's happening with your clients as far as pre-approvals and making sure all this stuff kind of goes in their favor. Hopefully you guys have a good week. Feel free to reach out anytime.